Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Weir, and I gotta tell you, I love life. But when I'm not being a husband, a father, a grandfather, an author, or a practicing chiropractor, I'm the host of the television show, Loving Life with Dr. Tim Weir. I love to cook. I love to travel. I like to spend time with people who do what they love and love what they do. Join me and Elvis for the next 30 minutes as we help you discover how to love life. Welcome to Loving Life. This is our Christmas special this year. And I went back in the archives and found some great things. Uh, found, we went to the Great Wolf Lodge and I spent some time with our good friends, country music legends, Highway 101 and Cactus Mosier and Curtis Stone and Nikki Nelson. This is my favorite time of the year. This is the time of giving, loving, sharing. And so grab a cup of coffee, sit back and enjoy my time with Highway 101. Just because you're in an accident, but didn't ride in one of these, doesn't mean that you didn't get injured. Hello, I'm Dr. Tim Weir. And after 35 years in practice, I can tell you, a lot of times, an injury doesn't show up for two to three days after an accident. So if you've been in an accident, don't delay any further. Call my office today. Raleigh Spine and Injury Chiropractic. Just when you thought nobody cared. Call 790-1332 right now. Hey, we're at the Great Wolf Lodge in Concord, North Carolina. This is our Christmas special, and we're actually here with Highway 101 oh, oh, oh. and the Wolves and Cactus Mosier. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Hey, I, Great I, to be here. I want to apologize because I, I wanted to I, you know, make this really nice and get you a spa treatment. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to apologize really quick. Well, this is all I have left. Yeah. So, I do. I'm actually loving the colors of the room. It, it does work. Besides it, it works. I don't okay. care what anybody okay. says. So. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we're here putting together uh, the Christmas special for Highway 101. I have heard of those people and I hear nothing but great stuff about them, especially, I guess the drummer in particular, I've heard just like a great, he's a, he's a humanitarian and I think he's sort of a, <clears throat> I don't know, I, I guess he's a sexy man, I heard he has great legs and, you know, but yes, we I are. I can't wait to meet him. Yeah, I, me too. Yeah. No. no, actually we're thrilled to be here and having a great time so far. It's an awesome place. Isn't mm -hmm. It really is amazing. It's great. And it, it's actually like going to the beach in the middle of winter in North Carolina. 84, 84 degrees. All, all the time. time. Wow. Also, we're in San Diego. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got without a, the got a, got a take on it. Yeah. Without the yeah. Well, I didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't say you, that. You said that. I okay. didn't say that. You're, you know some the, the, I, I've actually <clears throat> just done something to the color of my, my hair. Can you tell here? I've just done, I had a little spot treatment before we got here. <laughs> yeah. I was going to suggest Nair, but that's okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. We can talk about that later. Yeah. Let me make a couple of, okay. Anyway, go ahead. I want to talk about some of our favorite Christmas memories. And uh, I know growing up as a Many kid, of those. Yeah, uh, all kinds of stuff happens, and you know, all of a sudden things, something just triggers a memory that mm -hmm. you had mm -hmm. as a kid. What's one memory that kind of sticks out to you as far as your wow. childhood? I think that there's one, I don't know why this would be, and it, was a, it would turn out to be a great ending to a story, but it was the first time I learned that, you know, I would, if the Christmas packages, the Christmas tree was very sacred. I would spend, you know, every hour that I could just looking at those packages and daydreaming, of course, what it was going to be in the package. Did you shake it? I got to a point, to a certain age, probably like six-ish, seven-ish, and I thought, you know what? Nobody's home. It's just me and the tree and the packages. And maybe I should do a little exploratory surgery mm. to see what's in the package. So one that I was thinking in particular was going to be, I kind of wanted a, a, a remote control race car set. I thought that looks like the box size. And I might have done a little jiggle and heard some little, you know, loose pieces thinking, well, maybe that's what I need to be doing. Uh, uh, it's just checking that one out. So I did the carnal, you know, you know this, this, I, there's more tape in the house. I can just, so you tear that away. Maybe it takes a little of the paper off, but you're thinking nobody's going to notice that because I'll tear it open so fast. Oh, sure. Yeah. So I do, I open up, I see it's the race car track. Wow. Of course, I'm thrilled. Excitement, you know, exuding out of my every pore. Uh, and I almost consider, well, I could take it out. They're going to be gone a couple hours. Or, you know, they're out, you know, whatever they're doing. I don't know. And uh, uh, so I kind of get to that point and I think, uh, I could be, maybe I shouldn't do that. So I put it away, you know, conscious takes over. Put it up against the wall. Well, then, maybe I didn't tape it quite as 
pretty as it was or quite as perfected. I come back from school, I think like the following day or two, that box was gone. Yeah. And oh my gosh, was I ever a little concerned about what I'd done. And I'm thinking, why? Nobody could know. What? Oh no, Santa Claus knew what I did. Yeah. I'm being punished. And for the rest of the whole season, that box never showed up. I was distraught. I'd go to bed thinking, oh, what have I done? What have I done? And plus I was going, I want the cards. You know, that's really the bottom line. Well, go through the whole thing. Christmas morning, Santa Claus has come. There's all this, you know, universe it's wonderful. But uh, that was not there any longer. I learned my lesson. Uh, well, then when everything's all done, everything's all, you know, tidied up, and I'm just like, oh, the race cars, the race cars, the race cars. My dad comes walking in the corner. Redemption. Son, there's a package that was somebody might have snuck in our house and opened. But... And I know a lot of people are thinking what I was wanting was a pink robe and some pink slippers, but it wasn't. It was the race cars. I was thinking it was an easy bake oven. Yeah, well, <laughs> you would think in this, yeah. Yeah, yeah a little apron, you know, whole thing. Uh, no, and it was the race cars. Dad came in the corner and going, you know, it's funny because we were a little concerned. Somebody was sneaking in here and opening packages, and so we didn't want this to get, you know, to, so you wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Oh, the lesson. Surprise. And so I tried to put on my best... Well, I was surprised because there was dad, and I was like, yeah. I, you know, I don't know who. Wow, I'm just so thankful that it's here, and no one will ever sneak in the house ever, ever again and open any packages, dad. I'll, I'll make sure of that, okay? Did he believe it? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, sure he did. Yeah. yeah, anyway, so that was, the you know, having children later on in my life and seeing, you know, the faces, you know, when they were surprised, and when it was all the work you put in, so much work into Christmas morning, it being the big, you know, as a parent, and then you realize, oh, that's what I did to my parents. I let them down, and so, you know, out of the way, and so... I wrote them letters. We did about six weeks of therapy together over that thing. You know, it was years later, but I think at this point, my dad will be out. He'll be released in about six weeks from now. So that's it didn't they have, didn't have a lasting effect. Uh, thank God for that. Yeah, it's a beautiful. That's a beautiful. It's a beautiful story. story. Yeah, thank you. I, I I do hate the fact that we we missed Francois here. He's I was. Of, I, I, what he's out of the country or what? Well, I don't. He normally helps people out. Oh really? There's a uh, yeah. Someone special? I mean, what do you want to do? I don't know. I mean, Listen, sitting in a chair like this, with you dressed like this, yeah, I just, you know. Yeah, it's, it's kind of scary. You better wrap it up. <laughs> okay, hey, it's been, been great having you. It, we'll be right back. Okay, thanks. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hey, oh, I was supposed to say oh, Merry Christmas. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Merry Christmas. <clears throat> go ahead. Uh, Merry Christmas Merry from Christmas. Highway 101.
hope you're enjoying this Christmas time together. Don't change your channel because when we come back, I'm actually playing the piano and I'm playing it for Highway 101 as they sing one of your favorite songs, Let It Snow. We'll be right back. Uptown Pictures is a full-service script-to-screen production company which can help you create the proper messaging for any number of applications. With spacious state-of-the-art studio offering green screen, mocap, and practical stages, along with a team of professionals who will make you and your business shine. So what are you waiting for? Call us at 919-649-3587 and schedule your appointment today. It's time we put your imagination into motion.
Okay, you've had a long day at the park, you've gone down to Colonial Williamsburg, you're tired, you're achy, and you're thinking, what am I gonna do now? I got the kids over there. Here's what you do. You come and visit Shelly here at Element Spa, here at the Great Wolf Lodge. Or Hi. spa and salon. Ooh, you here as well. Or spa and salon. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get massages here. Yes, and body treatments. Body pedicures, manicures, facials. We do it all. We're and, all and full I, service spa and salon. Now, uh, my friend Kathy says that you're the only Great Wolf Lodge with a salon. Yes. Okay. Well, we have one other. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. There's only two salons. <laughs> so, but you're one of the two? Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go have a massage, and then I'm going to get my hair cut just a little bit around the edges. Is that okay? We can certainly do that. Now, what's the biggest thing that you tell people when, when they come in? If, if somebody says, I want to relax, I just want to unwind, I just want to, I'm going to let the kids play in the park. Because you can, they can do that, right? Of course, of course. Why mom they comes came here? They to the right place. We'll take care of them. Now, and I said, so moms can come here, but dads come here too, can't they? Oh, of course, yes. Yeah. We actually have a lot of men that come. See, I told you. <laughs> You're not the only one. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do now. Are you ready? I'm going to get a massage. Then I'm going to go get my hair cut. And then we're going into the water park. I love the water park here. Yes. Is that okay with you? Of course. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Don't go away because I'm going to go get a massage. Hi, this is Dr. Tim Weir from the Loving Life TV show. One of my family's favorite places to eat is Milton's Pizza. If you like good pizza, I'm telling you, they serve the best pizza around. Their salad bar, second to none. Our family is gluten free and we can eat there quite easily. You're going to love Milton's. Take the time to go there and tell them Dr. Tim sent you. We are Milton's Pizza and you are watching Loving Life. Woo! Well, we're at the Great Wolf Lodge and this is the spa at the Great Wolf Lodge. Oh my God, it's awesome. <laughs> now, Christy's here with me. Christy, let's talk just a little bit. Okay. When you're doing that, what are you actually, what are you looking for? I'm actually looking, well, I'm trying to make you feel good and relaxed, but, well, it looks like it's working. Um, actually, if you have, like, little tension knots, mm -hmm. we get in there harder to work those out, and it helps people feel better, but, really, all in all, it's just nice and feels good. Yeah, that's true. It makes people feel good and relaxed, and you forget about everything. Now, if, if you're at the Bush Gardens, and you're at Bush Gardens all day, that's a lot of tension, and you're walking around, and it's yeah. hot. So this is a good way to stop the day. Sure is. You forget about everything. Kids, housework, work, <laughs> See? everything. It makes it all go away, and you feel really, really happy. Now, here's what I recommend when you go to a resort like this, is sometimes they've got on, on the menu deep tissue massage. Mm -hmm. Unless you've had deep tissue massage before, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it either. I like the just, way you think. I sure don't. Just because I think a body has to get kind of built up to the, the tolerance of a deep tissue. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I recommend just my Swedish for beginners and then go deep. Because if you go deep too fast, it'll uh, It'll flare muscles up. It'll it actually, release some toxins. Yep, and your body can turn it. It can go into an inflammatory response. And it'll it ruin the rest of your vacation. You. Yeah, make you really sore too. Yeah, and you'll never get them another massage again. So, so, I don't know where you guys are going on this camera, but I'm just going to the rest of this massage. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> well, he's gone, Amy. <laughs> How's the pressure? Oh, it's awesome. Hope you're enjoying this episode of Loving Life. My good friends at Highway 101 are going to be back in just a minute singing one of your favorite songs. It's called The Christmas Song. You uh, probably recognize it more as chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Don't change your channel. We'll be right back. 
I've been in an accident and I don't have insurance. I don't know what to do. I was in an accident and I don't have insurance. Now what am I gonna do? Hi, this is Dr. Tim Weir and if you've been in an accident but you don't have health insurance, it's okay. We accept third party liens. That means we'll wait for the insurance company to pay us. So if you've been in an accident, call us today. Raleigh Spine and Injury Chiropractic. Just when you thought nobody cared. Call 790-1332 right now. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir and folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some To make the season right Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep tonight They know the same Lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly And so I'm offering this simple to kids from one to ninety two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Thanks for joining me. You know, Christmas is a wonderful, wonderful time of the year. It's the time when we not only receive, but we also give. The Bible, in fact, says it's better to give than to receive. What a great time to give. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Highway 101, man, they are legends in country music. Thank you for being with me, Highway 101. You're awesome. Please join me on Facebook. You go to our Facebook page, Loving Life with Dr. Weir. Just type that in or go to our website, www.drtimweir.com. Let this year be the best year yet. 2017, from our family to yours, Merry Christmas, have a happy, prosperous, successful, healthy 2017. Keep love in life. <music> 
Hey, Merry Christmas. I'm going to there. It's all about choices. I appreciate you inviting me in to, to talk to you. This, this, yeah, I, this, you're awesome. I didn't. I, awesome. I didn't. I. You I, are the best. I didn't really invite you. In oh, I know. Shelly, <laughs> who's the 32nd president of the United States? Don't be doing stuff like that.